Hi, my name is Missy, and we're here at the Carnegie Museum to check out Fashion at the Foyer. They have a lovely setup, and we're looking forward to see what they have to present for us tonight. So stay tuned to see what else is going on. A uh, level of successful events in the past, and I've been definitely looking forward to the fashion editorial. Are you looking forward to seeing any particular designers tonight? I'm actually the marketing director for Willie G's Designer Collection. Um, so, of course, Willie G's Designer Collection. Um, also, uh, Satori, very young, up and coming um, designer. Um, every, every designer, you know what I mean? All, er, this level of success is happening in Pittsburgh. It's always a good thing to see different designers put their work for it, so definitely that. My name is Nika. I am owner of Fashion Freak Nick Vintage, a.k.a. Shaded by the Queen, where we specialize in vintage-inspired sunglasses and limited edition apparel. And who are you here to see model tonight? My daughter, London Pipkins. London is your daughter? I love London! I have a couple of friends in the fashion show. Shout out to Cherie and Yachty. I'm, I'm familiar with their work. I worked with them. And I'm just, I just came to see some beautiful women and have, you, have a good time. Have you heard any like hype about tonight? To me, it seems like they have such a beautiful venue. This is something that seems like it's different for Pittsburgh. What I, the beautiful thing about it is a lot of the, um, a lot of the urban uh, venues that we have are restricted to certain areas. So them having a big event here, and it's coordinated well, people are behaved and well-dressed. This is a beautiful look for the city. Hi or being a part of you know, a fashion um, show with Levels. So I'm really excited for this one. <laughs> I feel like you know, this, like, the first one was like, like the start of it all, but the second one, like, I really feel like they like, you know, like everything is exactly how they want it to be. Like the designers you know, are coming with like, different materials. So I don't know, I'm just excited to just be here. I'm excited to see everybody. I know a couple people in the show, a couple models, a couple designers. And you know, I'm just excited to see their growth. I'm looking for all the models to like rip their runway and do their thing. I'm not gonna pick one out over the other day. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what about you? I'm excited for the fashion mostly because I love the colors and I like to see new faces. Is this your first time at one of these events? No, it's my first time at this one. Yes. What it is about, you know, Carnegie Museum. It's so steeped in history in itself and beautiful in itself that, I mean, all the models are going to do is just kind of put the cherry on top. Different variations of art for sure. I think it was amazing. There's a lot of talent in the city. I really enjoyed that you know, these guys had come together to create a platform not only for uh, the designers, but for the models, not only for the models, but for uh, different media. I think it's just an uh, amazing opportunity for us to you know, enhance the culture in Pittsburgh. So I really commend Levels for um, putting these th things together. Yeah. Selling t-shirts with my name on it, logo on it, uh, Leon Ford Speaks. That's my website. I travel all over the country sharing my story. I wrote a book. It'll be out November 11th, 2017. Um, it's called Untold, and it's just me sharing my testimony on uh, what happened when I was shot by the police and how I've overcome adversity. Good. You look fabulous, and I love your hair color. Thank you. What do you have over here? Um, this here is Talent Beauty. Um, we're located on Federal Street, 1201. Um, right now, we're selling pretty much accessories and some shoes, so everyone come over and check it out. Yeah. That is awesome. What about any models? Are you here to see anybody in particular? You, actually. You know what I mean? I've been, I've been stalking your page, and uh, you know, I finally get to see you, you know what I mean? Because you've been ignoring my calls, but uh, we're going to keep on subject. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Well, I'm just here behind the scenes today. <laughs> Everyone's having a great time. How's your night going so far with the show and everything? It's 
doing really well. I'm like very nervous but excited. Girl, you've been doing this forever. You, we know you're gonna do your thing. Like, like, I try to be humble. Huh? I try to be humble with it. Oh yeah, you'll do great. We'll be watching you. Good luck. Super excited. I model for three designers tonight. I model for uh, Elaine Healy with Victory Screen, uh, Willie G's, and I'm about to slay right now. Yes, you've been slaying all night long. Keep watching. Check out my girl. <laughs> Good luck. What do you think about it? So I think it's amazing. They have so much talent out here, and honestly, some of the outfits I wish I could have yes. for myself. But to know that people from Pittsburgh made these items is amazing. You know? Yeah. I definitely saw some of these. I was like, I definitely need that. I want to buy that. I would so buy that. We have a lot of great talent yeah. here in Pittsburgh, and you know, unless you have events like this, you really would never know. Right. So it's awesome. The makeup, the outfits, it's definitely, definitely something interesting to see. Yes, you can tell they put a lot of hard work into this. I mean, since March, that's three months of hard work, so it's really awesome to see, again, that something like this is coming here to Pittsburgh. This venue is gorgeous. Oh I'm like, I should get married here one day. Right? I don't know, <laughs> but it's beautiful. And where can people find pictures or the people who didn't come and missed it all? Where can they catch the highlights? Make sure you go on Instagram, any website, any social media website that we mentioned this evening. Hashtag fashion at the foyer. You should be able to find all the pictures for this evening. Thank you. Not We're looking forward to the rest of the show. Thank you. My inspiration comes from a couple of um, ideas. For one thing, the motherland, Africa, because I used um, African fabrics and they are wax fabrics. Like the top I have on, I created and designed myself. And this is from Africa, the material. I custom make the designs. I have a website. If a person wants you know, me to make those designs, I can. Oh, awesome. And where can we check you out at? Um, www.smoyfashion.com, as well as Facebook, Smoy Fashion, and uh, Smoye Fashion, and also on Instagram, Smoye Fashion. How are you doing? How long have you been doing photography for? Well, about six years now. Oh, really? How did you hear about the show? Uh, my, uh, Willie G's is a, a designer. Of my, he's a real close friend of mine. Oh, really? And he designed dresses for prom, weddings. He do it all. So I'm always with him, and I'm coming out here to support him, everything that he do. That is awesome. Shout out to Brandon. Okay. Really? What about you? Do you have a page or something we can check out your work on? Yes, yeah, yes, I do. Um, you can check me out at Leeway Print on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. It's Leeway Print. L E E W A Y P R I N T. Gotcha. You heard it. Leeway Print. Check out his work. It's a little bit nervous, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for it. Where are you from? I'm from Gambia, West Africa. Gambia. Hey, I'm Zambia. Nice to meet you. <laughs> right? Yes, right. <laughs> right, right. Right on the heart. <laughs> What do you think about the show so far? What's um, been going on backstage? It's been chaos backstage. Yeah. Just started naked people, and I'm telling you, everyone's running around like wild animals trying to fit on right. clothes. So yeah, and you see everyone's dressed like so in. Try to fit, so it's working. I like it. Amazing. How did you come up with the um, choosing to do it here and everything like that? It was it was really just it was like a blessing, man. I, I honestly can't even remember how it fell into our lap, but we came here to see like just like you know being out and about. We came to the museum and we came and looked at this, and then the lady who actually like rented out the people was there, and we asked her like you know how much it was. From there, it was just. It was over after that, you know. I, I mean, I honestly never seen an event here before, not even from, you know, young black males like ourselves. So for us to do it here, 
Like, it was real big, man. Even just seeing the turnout and the amount of people that came to support and just to watch. I know when I saw the flyer, I was like, oh, I got to go see this. I got to go check this out. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like it definitely turned out to be amazing. We appreciate We really do appreciate it, man. We we was working on this for, for so not even, We didn't really even have that much time to do this event. The models, the designers, everybody a part of this event, we all came together, and it just turned out, like, beautiful. Like, it was Point, man. It was on point. It was definitely a good show, definitely entertaining. So when can we expect the next one? <laughs> the, the next thing is coming real soon, man. Just you just gotta be listening, gotta be looking. We always post stuff on social media. You can follow us at Levels Agency on Instagram, on Facebook, the Levels Agency page, you can go follow it, go like it. But we definitely got something bigger and better. It's levels to this, man. Levels Agency, everything is a is a level. We just wow. going up them levels, man. I saw. It's coming soon. Man. And if you weren't here, definitely keep a lookout for the next show.